Hey everyone, Chrissy here for Spectrum Noir, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use the metallic markers on vellum. So you can see these markers, they have two ends to them. Um, the one end is a little bit thinner than the other. You have more of like a brush tip on the other end, and look at how beautiful and sparkly they are. I love them so much. That was the blue topaz. So to start off with, I'm going to stamp onto some vellum. Now I'm just using um, a stamp positioning tool. You can definitely just use a regular block or a rock -a block or anything like that. Um, I am using some Versamark watermark ink. Again, you can use any type of ink that you see fit. I just didn't need a color because I was going, I knew I was going to um, emboss it with this gold embossing powder. So um, it's actually liquid platinum. So now I'm just using my heat gun and you can see that it is embossing beautifully. Be careful when you emboss vellum. Um, if your heat gun is too hot or you're a little too close, it could scorch it. So if you need to emboss it and then kind of back away and emboss it again, go ahead. You don't want to scorch that. So now this is honestly, it sounds crazy. The coloring part is the easy part. I am just going to go and I'm going to start coloring on the back. You can be super messy because you can't even really see from the front um, any of the blending or anything. This is kind of one of the fun things about coloring on vellum and it's showing through. Um, I tend to color on the back side just because on the front side you can color, but um, if you get into your embossed areas, the metallic will kind of stick to it. So you have to be super, super perfect. This way, when you color on the back, you can be super messy and it still looks fantastic. So this is just one of the many ways that you can use your metallics. And I just think that they look so beautiful with an embossed image, especially on the vellum. So I am using um, a couple different metallics. I'm using silver, jade green, amethyst, blue topaz, and pink quartz. And then um, as soon as I was done with that, I let it dry. I mean, it could smear a little bit, but honestly, it dried really probably in about three to five minutes. Um, so then I just trimmed it out. Now, there are some stamps out there that have coordinating die cuts. Um, so, you know, if you have that, go for it. If not, and you don't mind fussy cutting, I kind of like fussy cutting. So I cut it out myself. So now I just kind of lay that feather down onto my piece of watercolor cardstock um, just so I knew where to stamp and I used that same embossing powder the same heat gun and um, once that was done I decided I was going to use my metallic markers again but this time I was actually going to kind of use them as watercolors so I'm just scribbling a couple of the same colors down and I'm coming in with my water brush and I am just picking up a little bit of that color and then I'm splattering it onto that watercolor cardstock. So that cardstock is cut to four by five and a quarter and that'll fit perfectly on a standard card base. Um, and I'm using two different sizes of water brushes. I have a smaller one and a larger one. And then I came in with that same heat gun and I just dried it off. You can let it air dry if you want, but I'm a little bit impatient. So I didn't want to wait that long. And this way too, if you use the heat gun, you can go back in and add more layers of splatters if you need to, or if you want to. So then to finish everything off, all I did was I added a little bit of adhesive onto that feather. Um, no problems whatsoever with that. The vellum won't show through, the, the adhesive won't show through the vellum because we've colored it in. And then to complete the card, I just used some foam squares to adhere onto a standard card base that is just a white piece of cardstock cut to four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. And you can see how beautiful and shimmery that is. Look at that. So it's two ways to use your metallics on one card. So have a great day. Make sure to follow our blog and like us on Facebook. Thanks.